should be over there. Yeah. They should be over there. For all those who've enjoyed this, please do give me a hug because I'm feeling a little bit shaky after all the aggressive energy come towards me. Could I give you a hug? I've yeah. seen you on YouTube. Uh, I'll give you a hug. I'll give you a hug. Give you a hug. Give you a hug. What's your name? Okay. Why do you feel so bad? 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 Why do so the people who have come for the funeral, for the people who have come for the funeral, and are all taking it all very seriously, they can go over there, and other people who would like to hear an alternative ideas, alternative opinions, and some humour, if that's okay, they can come and listen to this, okay? So if you're here and you don't like this, then you need to take responsibility, because you're probably addicted to a bit of drama, and you kind of like the fact that you don't like it, and that's why you're staying here, and you didn't want to take all this. Now, do take heckles, I'm more than happy to be heckled. <laughs> the only thing is I ask you to do if you're going to heckle me is to try and do it in an intelligent fashion, yeah? which doesn't usually involve expletives. You could do, but it doesn't necessarily or doesn't usually. Anyway, so here we are at the, what well, I see um, as the Maggie Thatcher funeral show. It's a big, big extravaganza, and you've got thousands and thousands of people all playing their part as actors in the show, and people that walk past. Of course, they're all behaving very well for the international cameras, all nice and solid, and they take it all very seriously. It is, of course, all very, very serious. In fact, the whole of life is, of course, very, very serious. I don't want to see anybody smiling in there. Stop it, madam. Not with the smiling. It's all very, very solid and serious, of course. And uh, so here we are at the show, and of course, they put a, a lovely production on. Cost you, the taxpayers, 11 million quid or 10 million quid, I don't know. And it's got some quick cracking actors. Some really good actors. You've got the actors uh, acting as members of parliament, acting, and then you've got the uh, people acting as foreign ministers. Yeah. And it's fantastic. The whole thing is a show. In fact, the whole of this society is actually a show. But obviously, uh, they don't want everybody to know that. So, uh, if you do understand what's really going on here, if you do understand that it's just one big show, right? It's a theatre production then please, for God's sake, do not tell the people walking past, because they think it's real. People walking past it going to the funeral, they actually think it's real and don't realise that it's a big show. It's probably best not to tell them. Now, obviously, I, obviously, I am saying this on the megaphone, but the people that walk past have been programmed so that they can't hear what I'm saying. It's a kind of hypnosis, the form of hypnosis. What hypnosis is, is when you program someone's mind to... Kind of, uh, to zone out certain frequencies, so certain things they will not recognise. Oh, oh, no. What does that mean? And a memento. Oh, that's nice. Put it in your Christmas stocking in six months' time. Thank you very much. Only a pound, get your whistle. Um, so anyway, yeah, so it's a graphic show, and we've got lots of actors here. Just to let you know, those people walking past, I'll be catching one, they're very much into the work ethic. So I'd like to ask you all, please, can you just go back to work, please? You won't be by this. You're obviously not that important, or wealthy, or powerful, or a power addict. Um, please, just go back to work. You're not one of the big boys. You need to keep on working. It's important for the people at the top to manage the rather managed lifestyle. They do rely on you lot working like the dogs. So please, go back to work and do it to your tolls, and everything will be fine. As long as you just do what everyone else does, everything will be fine. As I said, sir, I don't mind taking heckles, but, you know, just walking past like that, shouting abuse. Oh, oh, he's got, he's put two fingers up, ladies and gentlemen, that's a little British fashion. 
Because she's good at killing people. <laughs> I'm going to let you say that. <laughs> because she's good at killing people. Oh. <laughs> I'd say that's a big walking pass. Well, she didn't actually do it, did she? Oh, by proxy. By proxy. She told some people to do it. <laughs> <laughs> she had a lovely, a lovely nice hat on at the time. She told them so. She looked really nice. And she said it was a very hot hat. That's uh, alright. Anyway, so um, I'm wondering what to say now. I'm starting to feel a little bit self-conscious and um, I feel like you really are requiring me to entertain you uh, for the next however long it is to go back to work. So I just said, for example, let's say five, ten years ago, whatever, Nelson Mandela, would he be worthy of such a gathering or such a... No, there are lots of points. Just think the way the legal system acts, for example. Or, I need an example. Uh, I, I would say to the contrary, the government in this country actively wants to extradite certain individuals, so Abu Qatada, uh, to Jordan, or uh, Abu Hamza to America, and they can't do that. Why? Because the legal system gets in the way of prevents that. So the legal system prevents an action that the government wants to take place. So how's that corruption? <laughs> the legal system is a constant thorn in the side of what governments want to do. It goes against the what the people want to do. It's not the British legal system, it's the European legislation. Ian Douglas doesn't pass uh, legislation. He doesn't pass legislation. Parliament passes legislation. You vote for those people in Parliament. Whether you agree with it or not, you have to delegate somewhere. You know what? As far as I'm concerned, right? I, I, I'm, not, I'm not going to spend a lot of time in these discussions, mainly because, uh, in a way, I'm not here, I'm not really, to be honest with you, and maybe this sounds awful, right, but I'm kind of not here to persuade anybody to think differently. No, but yeah. you do have a megaphone you are talking, yeah. and I appreciate yeah. that, I think you're right to say that. I hear that, I hear but that. But I, 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 I'm not here to persuade anyone <coughs> to try and think differently, right? I'm really here to connect with people who already understand what I'm saying, and I don't think you understand what I'm saying, and I'm not saying that I'm right, I'm just saying, what I'm saying is I'm kind of communicating at a, at a different level. I know that sounds, you know, it doesn't make me any better or worse. You're metaphysical, to tell you. You're just a metaphysical. Well, I, I'm just saying that what I'm doing, what my presentation, my form of entertainment, which I, you know, which I see as a kind of spiritual pursuit, yeah, is aiming for people who get what I'm saying. And just at a gut level, they just get what I'm saying. If you think, you know, if you think, the way that you think it would take me a hell of a long time to try and explain to you <coughs> where you know my problems with it and I, I i'm not i'm just not into i used to do that i used to spend time trying to persuade people to think differently but it's, it's cool it's cool i just i'm just not here to persuade you but we're very very far apart from our world view world viewpoints i see the world very very differently to you well we are but we're that's a country okay. that tolerates that yeah yeah Excellent. Great, yeah, you're Thanks. right. Thank you for reminding me. You're, right, you're right. I agree with you. If I was in Iran, I'd probably be long gone by now. <laughs> I don't think what you said, how you said it, has been very helpful. And I'm here. I'm wearing a Sunderland shirt. This was a statue destroyed by town. She destroyed the shipbuilding, she destroyed the steelworks, she destroyed the mines. It was like being a bloody ghost for me. Right? But that woman who picked up the megaphone 15 minutes ago, she was right. 
almost everything she said about the build up to Thatcher, how she got in. She got in because the country was fucked, right? And so don't you go around and say where do you get your opinions from, where do you get your impressions from, where do you get your news from? Because I've been lived through it and I know exactly what it was like. And she was right. I don't know where she stands politically. Thatcher was a really horrible woman. But don't go like with a great big broad brush saying everything's wrong, you don't know anything, everything's just a friend of life. Life's not like that. You're taking a very simplistic view. And you're putting people like me who know how wicked that woman was. She was wicked because she did those things she didn't care. That's why she was wicked. That's why I hate her. I don't hate anyone. I don't understand the woman who said she was a heroine. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I don't think she's a heroine. I don't think she's a heroine. But the whole political situation that led up, the reason she got in was because the country's completely fucked. Because then she got in and she destroyed communities. And people like you, who are here to like shitbag Thatcher, which I totally agree. Am I? Yeah. Am I here to do that? I don't hear that, actually. I'm not here to do that, yeah. How long have you been doing that? How long have you been In this gathering? About an hour. Oh, okay. I didn't, 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 I